Aston Villa host Tottenham Hotspur on the weekend, so I thought I would do my Aston Villa and Tottenham Hotspur combined 11. Starting off in goal, we have got two absolutely unreal goalkeepers. We've got Martinez or Vicario. Now, for me, these two are so, so close. But for me, I think Martinez just about pips it for me. I think when you look at Vicario, yes, he's had a great season, but I think he's been found out for his weaknesses. He's very poor from crosses and from corners. And overall, I do think he's just a, a bit of a weak keeper. He's shown his vulnerabilities this season, whereas Martinez has been so strong and so consistent for so many years at the top level on the big stage as well. Now onto the right back position, we've got Matty Cash or Pedro Porro. Now for me, it's got to be Pedro Porro. This guy has been an absolute joke this season. He is really, really low loved playing Ange Ball. He has stepped up massively compared to last season when we all thought he was going to do really well under Antonio Conte. Now onto the centre-backs position now. Both sides are very, very defensively strong and there is a lot of really good defenders in this list. But for me, it's got to be Pau Torres and Esri Conce. Yes, I know a lot of Tottenham fans are thinking, what are you doing missing out Romero and Van der Ven? But let's be honest, Aston Villa have been absolutely unreal and have got a better defensive record in the Premier League. Paul Torres has stepped up massively and Esri Conce is one of the most underrated defenders in the league. Now, I really like Van der Ven and Romero, don't get me wrong, but I think Romero quite often is very erratic and irrational and that's why I wouldn't want him there. And Conce and Paul Torres have just been unreal. I just had to pick them. Now onto left-back position, it's got to be a doggy for me now. He has been absolutely unreal real this season, was on loan last season, has come in like he has been playing Premier League football for so many years, so attacking and so strong, driving with the ball direct, I really like him. Now onto the midfield three, I think this one was quite easy, we've got Douglas Louise, John McGinn and James Madison, now that midfield three I think would be absolutely unreal together, you've got Douglas Louise spraying the balls around from deep, arriving late, scoring loads of goals, you've got Madison playmate, pulling those strings in the number 10 position, playing those killer passes and getting those goal involvements with John McGinn as that workhorse in there, grinding out, getting the ball, smashing into players. He is so, so good and he has been very, very underrated this season. I absolutely love him. And now onto the front three. On the left-hand side, you've got to go for Huming Son because I think he's been absolutely unreal this season, scoring so many goals, stepped up massively for Tottenham Hotspur this season. And then on the right-hand side, we've got Bailey. Now, Leon Bailey, for me, has been the most improved player in the league. He has been an absolute joke. Let's be honest, about a year ago, we were all saying, this guy is cut out of Premier League football. Villa fans wanted him to be sold. He it showed flashes of brilliance, but it hadn't showed any consistency. But now we're seeing the player that we saw at Bayer Leverkusen. He has been absolutely electric for Villa this season. And one of the main reasons why they have been so, so relentless this year. And in the nine position, it is the easiest position to pick out of everyone. It's got to be Ollie Watkins. This guy has been an absolute joke this season. He has been a man mountain of a strike of Raston Villa. Goal scoring, assisting. He is a joke. He is so, so good good knocking on Gareth Southgate's door to say pick me in that Euro squad and that is it my combined 11 let me know down in the comment section below any players you agree with or disagree with